If you have an iOS device like an iPhone or an iPad, you know the pain of trying to connect to cloud gaming services. You may have followed my previous video on setting up your own Moonlight-based cloud gaming server on either AWS or Azure. Now, this is fantastic and you can connect to it from any system unless you're using an iPad or an iPhone, in which case the Moonlight app doesn't let you connect to any computer that's outside your local network. This is not Moonlight's fault, this is Apple's fault because they don't allow this. In a previous video, I had shown you how to work around this limitation by using a VPN. This method works, but can be a bit complex and worst of all, it introduces latency since everything has to go through an extra hop which is the VPN, not to mention a VPN encrypt stuff making stuff even slower. So the solution was not ideal. However, today's solution is better. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install an alternate version of Moonlight on your iOS device. First, we'll be installing AltStore, which is, as the name implies, an alternative app store for iOS devices. The way it works is that we'll install software on our computer, Windows or Mac, called Alt Server, and then use it to install the Alt Store on our iOS device. From there, we can then open the Alt Store and install individual files called IPAs. Now, we'll need to jump through a couple of hoops to do so, but they're easy hoops to jump through and I'll be showing you how these work. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've got my Moonlight server set up and first we'll just try connecting to it from the desktop. This should work with no problem. So here we go. I'm just gonna launch the desktop here. And there we go. We're connected to the Moonlight setup from the desktop and this works as you would expect. Now let's try the same thing from the iPad. Okay, so here I am on my iPad and I'm going to go to my Moonlight. And I'll add a host. And let's see, the IP address is... And as you can see, we get the typical problem. Moonlight only supports adding PCs on your local network on iOS. Now, hopefully by using the Alt Store, we're able to install a different version of Moonlight that does actually allow this. So, and I'm gonna actually remove this version of Moonlight since it's useless for me. There we go. And now let's see what happens. So I'm going to go to the Alt Store webpage. And in my case, I'm going to download it for Mac OS, although it's also available for Windows. And we'll allow this. It was a very quick download, as you can see. And I'm just going to drag it to my applications. Alt server. OK, so the server is now running. And as you can see here, in the menu, I get an option to install AltStore on my iPad. So let me try that. And it asks for my Apple ID and password. So I'm going to go ahead and fill those in. Alt Server requires a mail plugin in order to retrieve necessary information about your Apple ID. Would you like to install it now? Well, if it's required, let's go ahead and do that. Please restart mail and enable alt plugin in mail's preferences. Mail bus still running when installing or refreshing gaps with alt server. Hmm. Okay. So apparently I need to turn on mail. And then I need to go to preferences. General 
manage plugins and I will allow access apply and restart mail okay so that should be working now let's try this again so install alt store on my iPad installation failed you are not a member of any development teams okay so apparently I need to create an Apple developer account for this to work so developer.apple.com and from here I can go to account and log in with my iCloud and I'll renew my membership here blah 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 I agree So I apparently now need to run Xcode and then go to preferences and add my account here. Now, as you can see, what this does is it adds me to a team, which in this case is called the personal team. So remember, you don't actually need to pay the $99 a year uh, for the Apple developer account. That's only to publish apps to the App Store, which we don't need. So by just uh, going to developer.apple.com, accepting that license agreement, and then signing in with that account into Xcode, you've created your team. Okay, so now that I'm in a team, let me go ahead and try that installation again from Alt Server. So we'll go here, install to iPad KV, and there it is. You can see on my iPad, the Alt Store icon has popped up. Now, before we can launch Alt Store, we need to tell the iPad to trust our developer account. To do this, we'll go to Settings, and then General, and then we'll go to Device Management, which should have your iCloud ID on the side. Tap on your developer app. Now, I've already done it in my case, but what you guys need to do is you need to click trust or approve. So this will tell your iPad that you want to allow apps from your own developer account to be installed. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and open Alt Store. Okay, so now I have the Alt Store icon on my home screen. And as you can see, there's news here, browse, my apps, settings, and so on. So from my apps, you'll need to tap on the plus icon at the top left and you'll need to select the Moonlight IPA. Now you can download this IPA by going to Safari on your iPad or other iOS device, I guess, uh, and going to the GitHub page and downloading the IPA. The link will be down in the video description. I've already downloaded it, so I'll just tap on it here and get this thing installed. Okay, and as you can see, Moonlight has now been installed and it's marked as side loaded. Now it says it will expire in seven days, but don't worry about that. As long as Alt Server is running on your computer and your iPad and computer are on the same network, Alt Server will keep refreshing that counter. And if I go back to the home screen now, you'll see I now have a brand new Moonlight icon. Okay, so I'll go to Moonlight now and I'll say add host manually and I'll type in the IP address of my cloud gaming rig. And as you can see, we already get further than that because the icon actually shows up. Now, I will still need to pair uh, by typing in the code. If you followed my Moonlight tutorial, uh, you should have an AnyDesk connection to your gaming rig. So here on my desktop, I'll connect via AnyDesk and then on my iPad, I'll tap on the host and I'll type in the code, which in my case is 7911. Okay, and as you can see now on the iPad, uh, my desktop and Steam show up. So let's go ahead and go into Steam. Okay, and here we are. So I can go to my library here, and I should have 
do maternal somewhere. Okay, so let's just see how this plays. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go to the video settings and I'm gonna switch to a four is to three aspect ratio and the 1440 resolution. And there you go, that looks much better on my iPad now. So I'll go to a campaign as usual and I'll choose my usual Exaltia. Yeah. Now, uh, as you can see, or maybe you can't, <laughs> depending on what YouTube decides to do, but this actually feels much smoother than my previous solution of using a VPN. Um, you may still see some stuttering, but that's down to two things. The iPad's screen recorder and the fact that, as usual, my Wi-Fi is not really perfect. However, uh, yeah, okay uh, well obviously that's gonna happen uh let's try that again okay so it seems to be working fine now again i'm not gonna do a full playthrough here but you can see that this is working pretty well and again guys if you see any stuttering remember that that is most probably caused by my Wi-Fi network and the fact that the screen recorder sometimes can't keep up. Uh, but if we look here, yeah, you'll see that everything's working fine. It doesn't look artifacted or anything. It looks very clear, very crisp. As usual, it's actually quite nice to play on an iPad since the screen is really nice. And I think you get the idea. <laughs> and this time I died, okay? So using a controller, plus it's like six o'clock in the morning right now and I'm not at my best. So yeah, it does work. As we can see, this is um, an easier way, in my opinion, of getting um, connected to your cloud gaming rig from your iOS device. And it also provides better performance since there's no overhead of the VPN in the way. So there you have it. The only requirement of this solution is that at least once every seven days, your computer and your iOS device happen to be connected to the same network and that alt server is running on your computer. It will renew that seven day license to ensure that Moonlight keeps working on your device. Now, is this solution better than the previous VPN based one? Well, yes, of course it is because there's no latency introduced. Is it the perfect solution? Well, no. <laughs> the perfect solution would be Apple just letting us download streaming game platform thingies directly from the App Store, which I'm fairly confident should be happening sooner rather than later. Until then, why not like this video and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification icon. If you're interested in cloud gaming, I've made quite a few videos on setting up Moonlight, Nice DCV, Parsec on Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud Platform. And there's many other videos comparing the three solutions and doing other cloud gaming related stuff. I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any other tips, tricks, or techniques that you use, let me know down in the comments below. Until the next video, thanks for watching.